Good afternoon, Shane from DIY Retro Arcade. I've been asked if I would make a video this week of how to change out the joysticks on the Arcade 1-Up Street Fighter Edition. The one that I usually stick on these is the quick and easiest one is a Sanwa style joystick like this one. These are very easy to change, very little modification is needed. Uh, let's dive right on in. I have all the other cables already removed just to be able to show better of what's going on. Uh, in order to change these joysticks, all you need to do is basically unhook them from the PCB here. Then take the four screws out. Let me go ahead and take this one out as well while I'm here. Once you have all the screws out, all you'll need to do is basically pull them out. Uh, the first time you do this, it may be difficult. As you can see, there was glue on these from the factory. You can kind of see it there too. So the first time I took these out, I had to actually whack them with a hammer from the other side just lightly. It, it, it didn't take nothing serious, but you had to hit on them uh, to get them out. But basically, uh, remove both of these. To install this style of joystick, you're going to do a few things. Uh, first off, you're going to have to redrill your holes. The Arcade 1UP joystick has a smaller pattern. I believe it was a 3 seconds or a 1 8 inch drill bit that I used to do this. Uh, simply align it here from the other side, look and, and make sure this goes into the center. Set that down and then just simply mark the holes. Once you have those marked, drill your four holes. Something else that you're also going to have to do is turn this plate. Uh, this one is fine setting right here. You have plenty of room for your wiring harness, but if you set it on this side, you're basically going to hit the side of the cabinet. And if you turn it this way, then you're in the buttons. So there's no happy meeting on this one. In order to uh, pull this thing apart and to turn this, all you need to do is remove the restrictor plate right here. Uh, in order to do that, you basically push in on these four tabs right here and this plate right here will actually come up. I have one that's already kind of pressed in. It's, it's kind of hard to do, but I've got this one pressed in. Once they're pressed in, you can basically pull it up and you can pull this restrictor plate off. And then once you get the restrictor plate off of it, what you will want to do is basically take the whole PCB here and basically rotate it. And all you want is so that this is pointing upwards. Once you have this pointed upwards, all you need to do is basically turn this restrictor plate until it lines back up. But basically you just set it on here and push down and you'll hear it snap. And you'll notice all the little brackets are back in and this one right here is ready to install. I've already taken this one and turned that one as well to save on a little bit of time. But basically, again, I've already have the uh, holes drilled as well. I've had this cabinet apart so many times I can't count. But basically, once you get the holes re-drilled, put the screws back in it.
And again, make sure that you uh, pre-drill the holes deep enough. The material is very, very flimsy. And if you barely drill the hole, it'll basically fluff up the, the wood. Uh, it's like a particle board. But you can see, this one right here was actually the first one that I did. And I didn't drill these deep enough. And when I screwed the screws in, it kind of pulled the wood up. And, and it doesn't screw in and tighten up as good as this side does. So make sure you drill the holes at, at least halfway down. And the good thing is if you ever do strip out any of the holes, best thing to do would be either put another screw hole here and here and basically put two more screws in right there uh, to help stabilize it. If you already own this style joystick, chances are this is the wiring harness that it came with. Uh, we sell one that is basically pre-made, it's plug and play, ready to go. But if you do have this one already and you want to use it, what you'll need to do is take one of your old joysticks and basically cut it right here in the middle or wherever you want to uh, and you'll have to splice it into this I'm going to put a link in the description on how to wire this up it's very simple if you do want to uh, do that the most important thing to remember is uh, you only need one ground every time I see anyone trying to wire up one of these joysticks they always take all four grounds on each joystick and, and wire it into this. Uh, it's not needed. All you need is one ground per joystick. Our pre-made harnesses basically look like this. Again, these are plug and plug. They'll go right into the board. There's no, 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 no nothing to it. Uh, they're marked up, down, left, right. And basically on your board, you'll have up, down, right, left, and all you'll need to do for ours again is basically plug that in right there just like that and then simply this one is marked left right here's your right left plug that in and take your down up and plug that in and basically tidy up the wiring harness and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, it's plug and play it'll work just like that but again if you need to wire up your own harness uh, I'll have a link in the description that basically shows you how to do it that takes all the guesswork out of it it took me about 30 minutes to figure it out so it'll help you out a little bit anyway uh, guys we have these kits available on our site uh, we would appreciate your business thank you